Uh, throughout the day, we've been hearing stories about active uh, missionaries, voices from the field. We have a story coming up from Mark and Jana. What can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, you know, um, Chuck, we intentionally put these testimonies of my story into the conference this, this weekend. And, and Joy Vonks, if you remember, she is new in her career. She's just starting out within a few years. So she's somebody, one that is full-time, and, and she started out as, as a very young person. And then you get Brent, uh, uh, Kent and Amber Brantley, they're more mid-career, not quite mid-career, but they're in the middle of their career and they're giving their lives away full-time. Well, this is a whole different story here. Mark and Janet Tapazian are just dear friends of ours. We worked with them at Tenwick Mission Hospital and uh, uh, Janet's an educator. You'll hear that story in a minute. Mark's a gastroenterologist, but what I love about them is toward the end of their career. Now, he's not quite to retirement age, but rather than just retire, you know, Mark and Janet decided they're going to take the next hill, so to speak, and they've moved to, uh, to Egypt and they're oh, giving oh. their lives, excuse me, to Ethiopia and they're giving their lives away uh, kind of as a second act in their career. And so I appreciate that. So all three stories are meaningful at the beginning of your career, in the mid portion of your career or toward the end of your career. Well, let's take a listen to Mark and Janet's story right now. I'm a gastroenterologist, and I work in large hospitals here in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia's capital city. My focus is on mentoring Ethiopian colleagues, helping them achieve their goals, and sharing life and faith with them. I teach middle school and high school science at Bingham Academy, an international Christian school. I want my students to be curious about the world around them and to learn how a scientist solves a problem. I'm excited to see God transform them and make them into leaders that will change the world for Christ. We spent our first year of marriage in Liberia, West Africa, as volunteers with SIM. After moving back to the U.S., we stayed involved with international medicine and science education, and we took our daughters to spend summers serving internationally. About five years ago, we felt God calling us to serve full-time overseas. We were looking for a place where Mark could practice medicine and I could teach. Through friends at SIM, God led us to Addis Ababa. And after visiting, it was clear that this was the place and we moved to Ethiopia two years ago. You might be wondering what it looks like from the other side of a decision to become second career overseas workers. After all, why give up a comfortable lifestyle, a high income, and the gratitude and respect of patients and colleagues to start all over again in an unfamiliar place? In fact, we feel incredibly privileged to be living and working in Ethiopia. We have a renewed sense of purpose and are living an abundant life. Of course, there are challenges, but life has prepared us to see those as opportunities and God is giving us the skills and the grace to meet them. I prioritize medical work that has entrepreneurial value for God's kingdom. We're launching programs that target common health problems affecting poor and rural populations. I take on clinical roles that involve teaching, capacity building, and development of relationships. Like in the United States, healthcare professionals here often compartmentalize their faith and their practice. I'm helping students and colleagues break down those barriers through shared work, conversations, Bible study, and workshops that teach integration of faith and practice. I love their excitement as they recognize the spiritual significance and impact of their work. What does it take to get off the treadmill of our day-to-day -day lives and follow where God leads? For me, it started with self-identity, recognizing that we are first and foremost children of God. Only God's kingdom and the work we do for Him will last. God used our short-term experiences to equip us. Take a trip now and take your family with you. Start to explore the ways God can prepare you. Prepare now by inviting God into your day-to-day -day practice. It's so easy to leave Him at the door of the clinic or hospital. Praying for each of your patients is a great way to start. Take your next step in serving God locally and globally. Don't miss the opportunities that he has for you. Come and join us.